I think the book was published in 1993, and I haven't checked the records, but I think it was 1995 that Jeff Bridges and his people came to me and optioned it for a film. It was a tough time in my life, actually, because I had a son in the military who was killed in 1995. So it was a distraction from those tough times. Uh, I got to know Jeff gradually over a period of time, and I began to feel as though the book was in good hands. Jeff plays the giver, of course, but he's also the producer. Funny thing about when he came to the set was I wondered, who's going to come to the set? An actor or my boss? And every day that he came there, he came as his character. He came as a man with a very strong back, but a very soft front. A strong back allowing him to have really strong and determined ideas about what he felt about the storytelling and the character, but a soft front that allowed him to receive ideas. Um, and it was never the producer that came to the set. Off the set, we'd talk about, you know, ideas for the movie, and, uh, and, 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 but on the set, he was totally receptive as an actor. I think that's probably the mark of uh, a really great actor. At least that's what I've observed. I mean, even Meryl Streep, totally open, not closed, ready to receive and therefore able to, to in a way, be a conduit, like a lightning rod for emotions um, between the author, the director, all the crew, and the audience. Both Jeff and Philip, and perhaps all the others as well, uh, were very dedicated to maintaining the integrity of the book. Of course, a movie is different from a book. I knew that things would have to be changed. There would be some things that were different, but they were committed to preserving the intent of the book, the spirit of the book. Uh, Jeff told me that they would sit down and with the book and read aloud from it from time to time. In fact, he had gone back years before. Uh, he had sat in his father's living room, he said, and read the entire book aloud with his father playing the role of the giver. He's trying to find that, that old DVD of, of, uh, of that now. Uh, but at any rate, he never let go of the book. I think it would be easy to let that happen and, and get carried away, but they never did. I think times are very difficult now for, for kids looking toward the future. Unlike my own teenage self, growing up between two wars, the Korean War and the Vietnam War, uh, I lived in a very comfortable era and my family had no television. So I wasn't bombarded with fears of the future uh, the way my grandchildren now are. And I think that's made them turn toward these books that postulate possible futures. They're trying to figure out their role, what role they'll play, and, and one hopes changing uh, the future. We've got uh, the two almost reigning heavyweight champions of acting, um, Meryl Streep um, and Jeff Bridges, recent Academy Award winners. Um, acknowledged as you know, amongst the greatest uh, in their generation in, in, in the acting craft. It's a delight to watch them on screen together. I mean, uh, you know, when they interact, you really feel like you're in the front seat to something very, very special. Jeff, I always knew, would be the giver. Uh, he, he always, I had talked to him over the years and, and I knew what he would bring to it. Meryl was the one that surprised me because her role in the book was very small. The character in the book, whom she plays in the movie, is not given any personality in the book. That was the task of the screenwriters who, who elevated that character into something much more complex and then she brought to it something even beyond that. So I was astounded when I saw her in that role. And again, against Jeff, because the two characters are in conflict in the movie. They're not in the book. So that was new to me and a part that I wish I could go back and rewrite the book and put that in because it's brilliant.